everybody, it's Sophie and Marco Dish Out on the Movies. But today we are reviewing the latest episode, episode number five? Uh, six. Six? We had some discussion about that. I guess I got confused. Um, and it was called, and I hate the title, I, in fact, I despise the title, Cape Queer. Now, when I heard that, when I saw that title, I thought, my God, are they talking about gay people yeah. and these boys? And I thought, I just don't, I don't like it. I, it's not, but yeah. I mean, these are kids, I know, middle school, and but the thing, the relationship or whatever you want to call it, is so small compared to the rest of the story with the murderous killer on the loose, that why would they do that? But apparently... Uh, it was named that for other reasons, and Marco would it's, explain well, it's, that. It's both. It's 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 basically, I guess, saying that like you know they copy Cape Fear because they watch the movie and then they copy it, and then they play the music from the movie. But also because the main kid is gay, which you know, gay and queer is not the same thing. And I learned that because these idiots on Twitter talked about how. You know what queer means, Safi? It means, no. it literally means that you're gay or lesbian, but you don't want to be called gay or lesbian. <laughs> that's, oh my God. that's literally what it means. That's okay. how, re that's how retarded it is. That's stupid. And, yeah. I just really, really, I can't yeah. stand that kind of stuff. And these retarded. are kids and I don't like it. We're They're not kids. talking about adults here. Yeah. We're not talking about They're not uh, what queer, that fashion gay. show, the queer eye or whatever that thing was. Nobody likes that song. I didn't it. watch that, but I mean this is these aren't adults. Yeah. Come on. Let's so uh, but uh, apparently though there's more on. to the title than just that. Not and, really. I mean because they're just I, I don't it's a really weird title because it's only like the last 15 minutes of the episode where they copy Cape Fear. The the rest of the episode there's there's other stuff like there's the uh the what the mom does, there's what the other mom does, there's uh there's the side stories like with Andy and Kyle <laughs> and uh and uh Jennifer, oh wait, no, I mean uh, Tiffany, you know, she's basically she, I, we'll, we'll talk about her character because it's sad. I really like, well, okay, we're getting too far. Uh, just to finish my point I was originally making, the episode is more than just that last 15 minutes. So oh, the, yeah. the title of the episode is just really bad. And the, these titles are just not very good, honestly. Like, can we think of one good title from the, well, I can't really even think of the, I know the first one was Death by Misadventure, which was a really bad title, too. Oh, and, well. Well, yeah, there's a lot more to talk about. Th these are some bad titles. Like, just in general. Like, I like to be hugged just because Chucky hugs them at some point. Like, come on. Really? Like, it, ugh. Ugh. Gah, gah. Okay. And, I mean, Cape... Cape Queer is the worst title for obvious reasons because it's like, you know, it just points out really how bad the show has gotten. Like how Jake and Devin, they started off as characters somewhat that, that were growing and, you know, they were, they were, I guess Devin, Devin is gay. I mean, it doesn't really feel like it at all. Uh, and, you know, I guess Jake is gay for some reason. Uh, but they have more to their characters. Like, Devin started off with his, his podcast, and now it's like that podcast doesn't even exist. Like, you know that we do uh, a video a day, and we spend probably about as much time as Devin would probably spend on it, working on it, uh, including all the bullshit editing part, which is the worst part. But now it's like they don't even show any podcast or anything because they basically just used his podcast as an excuse for him to do narration and then for him to look up about the history of Chucky. Like, that's literally 
it feels like the only reason he was a podcaster. And they could have used, they actually could use that more yeah, as part of the that show. Could. That could do some introduction. That could move some of the story along. In fact, they could have had a lot of things they can do. Could do with that. They could have had a really interesting scene where, like, they're doing a podcast episode with a victim who escaped Charles Lee Ray. And then Chucky actually takes them both hostage, and he's the, and he takes over the podcast, and he's like interviewing like a former potential victim or something. Like, there's just so many things you could have done with that, but instead it's like, oh, never mind. He's just a gay kid now. That's all he is. He's gay. And that's like terrible. that's that's all what, he I, is. What, what, what does that and, say? And being gay is not a character trait. Like that's the reason why. We don't care when they they do they have like the straight relationships because just in this show in general they don't make it a point that that's all their characters are like they don't make it a point to say that oh uh, Lexi and Junior are dating and oh my God they're dating they're dating they're dating like they don't just make that their entire characters but when it, whenever it comes to gay things nowadays that's all that their characters are given and that's not uh, right and being for them, yeah too. and being gay is not a character trait and then with Jake he's supposed to be an artist but he doesn't even do any artwork and uh you know what's up with that is well, he just not care anymore he did say uh don't touch anything in my room and i was given to think that he was talking about his artwork <laughs> remember at the oh. end when uh, Lexi mm. had to go up in his room, and uh, he and he and Devin were preparing the bottom part of the house and the stairway. That, that could have been about anything, though. It wasn't specifically... Well, I know, but I just thought that was interesting, because I wondered what, what he was talking about. I was thinking in it fact, was his artwork. You could have had a really funny moment where she finds the s statue that he made of her so that, by the way, he could practice stabbing her. Uh, back when the show was about him being evil, uh, and then they changed it to Goosebumps Light. Uh, you know, we could have had a scene where she finds the sculpture of herself, and she's like, I don't look like that. And that would have been really funny, like something like that. Uh, you know, just anything. But, like, it's just so one-dimensional now. Like, it's so, like, from the first episode and, like, the third episode, I thought that this was going to be like a real a really like a deeper show than like let's just say American Horror Story season 10 but it's just turning into more one dimensional crap yeah okay well let's talk about uh one thing I'd like to say is uh I almost couldn't even watch the rest of it because there were two characters in the show that just totally turned me off and it they pissed me off so much I couldn't stand it but junior has turned out to be my least favorite character because he's a little whiny <laughs> baby who only thinks about himself and he acts like things haven't changed or happened. And this now this is for his mom dies, okay? So but still, I even after that happened, I could it was hard for me to even feel sorry for him. And that's pretty bad. But he was just I, I could not stand the way he talked to Lexi, the way he talked to Jake. And he's just so whiny and and childish. I just couldn't stand it. And then the close second, which I could probably flip him back and forth, is Devin's mother. And the reason why is because she is supposed to be, uh, she's not just a regular on-the-beat police person who, you know, you call 911 and they rush in there and, uh, they have their guns drawn, and maybe somebody's invaded your house or something. She's supposed to be like a uh, investigator, like a detective, and because she doesn't wear a uniform, she wears her regular street clothes. So I imagine she's supposed to be like a step above a, a regular on the street police person. And um, here she is; she's investigating this case, which uh, it's pretty bad. There's been a few murders, and she goes and arrests. The science teacher. Why? Because, oh, the science teacher was the last person to see the principal. Because remember the last episode, the principal was beheaded. 
But but Safi, she has fingerprints in her own classroom. Yeah. And she she walked around. But her her excuse was, well, she, you are the last <laughs> person to see uh, the principal alive, and you are next in line to get the position. I mean, uh -oh. really? I I just I, it just guilty. I have read uh, so case closed. many mysteries. Put and, her in the electric chair. And they would never do that. I mean, she wasn't even called in for questioning. Flip the switch like they did with Brad Dura's character in X-Files. I, I just couldn't believe it. And, and, <laughs> and she, and, and then, and she acted so smug and, and then her son even ran up there because she, they came into her classroom. And arrested her in the middle of her presentation. Yeah. Her, her video. And I could, I just, I was so <laughs> asinine <laughs> i couldn't believe it and i thought what kind of investigator is she it, it's just like laughable at this well, that point that was laughable and her, her <laughs> son comes up here now you know that is her son he loves her and he says that she is not the one who did it and she said well who did then and of course he can't say anything and it just i'm i you know what could he do Anyway, that's her job. She's performing her job, but she's a stupid dummy. And so I, it really turned me off, and I felt like I can't stand this. And um, She knows the truth now, Safi. She knows that, you know, just because Jake uh, was around doesn't mean he was the killer. It was actually the science teacher because she uh, is a science teacher. And then the rest of the episode, unless I missed it, they don't even say what happened. What do you did mean? She get, did she get bail? Did she, is she sitting in jail they'll now? Have, they'll have more. That, that story is just going to well, take it, up more of the time. Well, the, the thing is, I guess if she's in jail and they had what happened, of course, I don't know how that's going to be explained. Know. Uh, she, they know she didn't do it because she was in jail. Oh, but but Safi, she could have because she's a science teacher. Yeah, and she and her, has fingerprints in her classroom. And, of course, she has teleportation abilities, she, too, she, because she's a science teacher. She's a science teacher who has a scalpel? <gasps> Uh-oh. This is so stupid. <laughs> I've never heard of a science teacher who has instruments to perform dissections before. That's, like, absurd. Okay, well, let's see. What else should we talk about now? Everything. Well, is well, Devin an orphan in that now? Or was his mother killed or badly injured? She's she she's dead, Safi. She's dead. Because so I is, think you think she is dead. I saw the title of the next episode, and I think it said something about twice the death, twice the grieving, or something. Mm. Like twice dead, double the grieving. I don't know, but uh, I think she's dead now. You know, who knows what's going to happen to Devin. He's probably, he's going to, I don't know. Uh, you know, it was Well, he's going to be an orphan. That's what I wonder. It's like, who cares? Like, just well, more YA drama. That means like, that she's going to be, that he's not going to be on the show because he'll have to go live with Aunt Margaret or something. You know what I mean? Aunt or, Margaret? Or Grandma Jones, you know. Oh, I, mean? I mean, I don't know who these people are, but anyway. That's me. So that'll, uh, who knows? Um, but Safi, he could just do his podcast and talk about true crime. And it's funny because, you know, what happened was basically what happens in a lot of true crimes where they arrest a suspect and they just pin the blame all on that suspect and, and they're just completely, uh, you know, in denial of any other possibilities like with, you know, Lee Harvey Oswald and uh, the Boston Strangler and you know, all those others, you know, that's always what happens. So I don't know why Devin didn't have a talk with his mom, like, Mom, remember the JFK assassination? You, you arrested, uh, you arrested the fall guy, and I don't know what you're thinking. I've been doing true crime research my whole life since I was one years old in preschool, and, uh, you are just out of order. And, you know, I don't understand why they didn't do that. You know, they just had to have more of a junior and his mom who, 
You know, it's like, she's a character now, guys. Like, she's hardly been in the show at all, but now she's a character all of a sudden, and you should care about her because she's a person. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's uh... like, I don't care about that biatch. Like, I wanted her dead. I wanted them all dead. The whole premise of the show was that they said, here's a universe of shitty people. Are you excited to see them all get killed by Chucky and Jake? I was really excited about that. And now it's like, oh, never mind. We wanted to do Goosebumps. Goosebumps, Safi. Goosebumps. So, Remember Goosebumps? Yeah, so what did you think about the other mother's death? I knew exactly it was after stupid. she said after she said, Well, I'm not gonna take any treatment. I was like, What? And I just thought that was so dumb, it made me sick. And, and then she's wearing that ugly, I'm sorry, ugly blazer, pink blazer. It, that made me sick, too, like it's Easter time. And <laughs> I, I'm, I just look at clothes more now because I sell them, and I just, I just thought it was awful. But this thing, <laughs> I'm not taking any more treatment. I'm just going to come home and be with my family. She's and so unlikable, and then she was considering leaving uh, her family to go, like, have affairs or something, and... Well, we don't they know. Maybe the secret that. was all along that she was sick. I don't know. That's no, what she, I thought, she was too. Gonna, she was going to text him, remember? She was going to text him and say, you know, we need to talk, which was just code in movies and TV for, we're getting a divorce. And so I and so they, it really made it look like, oh, she's going to leave them now so she can go explore the world and have affairs with unsuspecting guys who... Uh, you know, they just prey on dumb biatches like this. Well, I didn't I didn't get that out of it at all. But then you know, right after she says that she's, Chucky's gonna she's gonna be the next victim. Well they had Chucky. They had the music too. The they're like, Look, oh, it's this, a pop song. It's this odd music. I've never heard it in my life. And it was so horrible and odd mm. and it was like to me it was like popsicle pops <laughs> sugar <laughs> Uh, candy corn, uh, those little, uh, you know, those dots on paper and you pull off the dots and you eat them. That's what the music reminded me of. It's just, it was so awful. You know, we, we pay attention to that. We pay attention a lot to music because I, I was in orchestra as a violinist and Marco was in, um, band as a, um. Yeah, I still have my trombone, Safi. I still have my violin, Marco. Oh, well, why don't you beat that? I got my trombone. Oh, uh, well, anyway. Uh, it's bigger than your violin. We have, uh, we so we, <laughs> we notice music more, and uh, it was so awful. And then, of course, now, it was interesting how you knew Chucky was going to, he was going to happen to, ha happen to be there where that mother was. But remember, when, uh, Devin was talking to, wasn't he talking to that guy on the phone? Uh, you know the 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 guy the the guy who is only Devin. No, but yeah, Devin. He's talking, they were talking to Andy, and yeah. they were saying that he'll come after the people who are closest to you. Yeah, and so you go think back to that, which wasn't very long ago, and you know she's going to be the next one, and well, then she. Oh. Chucky goes after her and all I could think was you know Chucky had the chance to kill Junior once again and he's like never mind I can't kill children in this show I can only kill Oliver uh, for some reason poor just, Oliver just Oliver Oliver Twist and uh, you know I can't kill children I have to kill all the adult characters because I'm Chucky and yeah, I think I'm not it, evil they're anymore they're all going to be orphans yeah, they're all going to be like a... Maybe that's what's going to happen, because we have four more episodes. They're all going to go... I don't know what they're going to do. No, Safi, they're all going to go to Bruce Wayne's orphanage, and they're all going to become a part of the Bat family. Uh, well, anyway, so she flies out the window, and that was actually pretty cool, the way they showed it. it. But then it she was just... stupid. She just happens to land on her own car. And she lands to where her face is staring right at her Junior. son, which was... And it's through the glass, too. I mean, it's like, how, 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 like, 
contrived as that. That was unbelievably contrived. It, to me, though, they were just mimicking the killing of the maid in the original one, remember? Where he kills the maid and he pushes her out the window and oh, they had yeah. that was a really good death. To me, it just felt like they were doing that death again. And they were like, look, it's the same death. Chucky is still Chucky. <laughs> I'm talking about the very first Chucky movie, right? Chucky, That's Sophie. That's why I to make sure people understood Want to go to Chuck E. Cheese? No, I didn't. Want to get some Chuck E. Cheese? I didn't like Chuck E. Cheese. Fun either. fact, I've never eaten Chuck E. Cheese That's before. Fine. Food's no good. <laughs> Food's awful. But it's Chucky, Sophie. Well, Chucky is not the ch that Chucky. Remember that plushy Chucky from the bowling alley that I always wanted to get? They had that uh, claw machine at the bowling alley. And I'm not kidding, they had Chucky and Tiffany, and every single oh, time... really? Yeah, every single time we went there for, like, a, a whole year, uh, because I was in a bowling league, a youth a bowling lot, league. For years, uh, Marco did that. Every, 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 well, every time we would go there, I would try to get Chucky. That particular and, year. And, and, and I was never able to get him, and then someone else got him. That's and stupid. Tiffany. And that was always unfortunate. So then we get to see uh, Tiffany and... Um, it's probably Junior. Junior did it. I blame Junior because <laughs> he sucks. And then we get to see... Well, uh, yeah, let, let's talk about the best part of the episode. The the scenes with the good characters. You have, uh, you have Andy and Kyle! You have Andy and Kyle! And, oh. and they're... They're posing as census agents to uh, uh, kill Chucky dolls, and they've killed them all. There's only one left, and it's the one that Jake has, uh, conveniently. I don't understand and, how they know. Yeah, I don't know either, because... That, that's what killed me, because if you you said that they can go around say that spell over anybody or anything... Oh, I guess, I guess he just split his soul up into so many pieces so can he, can he i guess there's a split limit them up? i was gonna say is there a limit to he, his soul splitting even though in part three all that they had to do to bring him back was like spill a little of his blood in the latex and then he was suddenly a chucky dow and then they never explained how none of the other dolls from that batch of latex became uh alive either like, that was always a plot hole, and it's like, they could have made that. Like, that would have been so cool to have, like, all these Chucky dolls that were alive, that are alive, and it's like, how are they going to kill them all? There's just too many of them, but... <sighs> okay, well, anyway, we get to see... Uh, that, and I... What they did, that was another despicable thing. I really... I couldn't believe they allowed them to do that, considering <laughs> what just happened in real life. Uh, there was a real child there, and they shoot the doll when she's holding. Yeah, that was funny when and she, cool. When the kid is that holding it. That was cool. It. She was a, holding a it. A gun with a bullet. <laughs> they just shoot it right And they shoot her. the doll when she's holding I mean, That was on, so really? funny. It was I so mean, they funny. I mean, they got him. But, I mean, really? Safi, that happens all the time. There's nothing wrong with using guns in movies and shows. Fuck off. No, I'm uh, just... What, it was just a child, though. So what? And just, and just so the what? Fact that they they have that. that all the time in cop movies and shows. I just said where there's I a like it, yeah, Okay, but... well, what about all those times where you have a movie and you have a villain and he's holding a child and he's taking the child hostage I, and, I and, and the villain has to get shot. What about know, all those it was times? Just so You're just going to forget about all those times, Safi? Whatever. Don't pick and choose. Well, then, whatever. I did not think that he was a very good actor. Who? The guy who plays Andy. The, yeah, I did not. I oh, thought he was a terrible actor. Oh, I did Sophie. not think he did very well. You are out of order. And then, uh, and then we get to so we see that and we hear about what they're I, doing. I thought that that scene was hilarious because it was so over the top. And it was funny. very over the top. <laughs> they arrive there. They're like basically like men in black. And they're playing this music, and, and they're like, hey, we need to talk to you about the census. 
and it's almost like a like uh well i don't want to say like really bad acting like the type of acting that you'd see in uh uh weird thing <laughs> Well, no, it was just, and also, they don't send census takers like, out unless they haven't filled out the census. Like, you know whenever they put porno actors in real movies and they're like, look, remember this porn actor? They're in a real movie now. Like, that's what it felt like with with all the characters, the, these characters. And then like, now, who else do we get to see so now in this uh, episode? Well, we get to see Tiffany. That was the best part, was Tiffany and Nika! And guess what? You know that um, Jennifer Tilly, who plays Tiffany, is a superior card player, poker player to be uh, uh, to be exact. She has been on TV in uh, big time poker matches, and she wins. She's a really good. And they have her. They show her playing. Poker with, Safi. with that girl. Who's better, Meg Tilly or Jennifer Tilly? Oh, I don't know. Remember Meg Tilly from yeah. Psycho 2? Yeah, I know who the Tilly girls are. I just, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the purpose of Which one do them. you prefer, Safi? I guess in this one it would be Tiffany, of course. But the thing is, I don't know why they're even here. And Marco and I were discussing this because to, for, they for wanted us. they wanted to put someone in that dress, in that Twin Peaks themed dress, because the dress was was just enough to where it was like okay we know we know what you were doing, uh, Chucky wardrobe persons, uh, but I thought that that was the best part of the whole episode was just uh, like all the stuff with Andy and. Kyle Marco, don't and do uh, Tiffany and Nika Wafer. I thought that all that stuff was really good, and I loved it, and I just wanted to see more of that. And then as soon as they got to Goosebumps Light, that's what I wanted to not watch because the stuff with Kyle and Tiffany, you know, that that all stuff was I would say like a B plus, and then all the stuff with the the quote real characters of the show, I give it like an F. Hmm. There's really nothing about it that, you know, it's just all so goofy and and light and one dimensional. It just it doesn't it it doesn't do anything for me anymore. I'm not fooled anymore. You can't fool me. Okay, well, the only thing, other thing I was gonna say. I have no idea how they are going to explain what happened at the end. I have no idea. I don't even care. I don't even know why the mother was there. Because she had to come and. And he was get by Devin. himself, and that was where Jake is staying. Because Devin he, broke his curfew. Oh. I guess. I guess, and. The father or his uncle and Junior had gone, and they're staying somewhere else to just kind of, kind of gather themselves in their grief. In their la la land, because wasn't that funny how at that one scene, Jake's I mean uh not J uh, Junior's dad he literally just brushes brushes right past Jake like he's r literally invisible. Yeah. Like I thought that was so funny. It was like in those uh. Like in a Christmas Carol, where Scrooge is watching a scene out of his past or something, it was well, that, that he bad. He also had he had probably <laughs> ten words. He didn't say anything. Yeah, he, that's been a big anything. disappointment because he's a really good actor, and he's really popular nowadays, I guess. And 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 so it's really disappointing that his character's kind of like a cardboard cutout character. Yeah, so the I guess the big thing is I don't know how they're going to explain what has happened with the mother. Well, there's also Junior because the whole episode Junior's like nobody's paying attention to me and I do ya. You gotta everybody's mean to Junior. That's the whole. That's what he does the whole episode, and then he's like, Lexi, we're breaking up because you are in a different world. 
And then he's like, he just storms off to listen to his music and fall asleep again. Like he does the whole episode. He keeps putting those earphones in. And he's just like, he, 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 he. That's that's his whole character. Like he's a marshmallow <laughs> character. I mean, he's just a marshmallow. Come on, he gets chewed up and spat out, and you don't even think no, he's there. Even Slappy from the real Goosebumps would, uh, he would have killed this little effort by now. Come on, Safi. Whatever. And so we, that's I don't know what. So do you have anything else to say about the episode? Yeah. We gotta talk about. <laughs> well, wouldn't you? What, well, let's just establish this. Wouldn't you agree that the best stuff was all the stuff with Andy and Ka and Tiff and uh, Tiffany and Nika? Wouldn't you say that that was the good stuff? And then when they would switch back to the YA characters, uh, you know that was the bad stuff. Wouldn't you agree with that? Like, it's just the other stuff is so much better. Well, I think it was good to have a mixture of it all. I don't, because it was I, it was disjointed. Well, that's true too. But it was. Uh, I just I I keep thinking I don't know how they're going to resolve this, and well, I don't know. Especially now, I don't know what a, they're going to say about what happened. Why is the mother there? Why do they have all that stuff strung around? Uh, in a contrived way. Yeah, and I just and, because, and who's going to be coming because they know, haven't shown the only other person they showed the Hallmark <clears throat> guy from Canada Excuse who's me. like a hockey player. Uh, he's dead, so it was just him and her. So what other police person are they going to show? Maybe they don't, they don't even have any others. May, maybe Andy and Kyle will will pretend like they're FBI maybe, agents yeah, or maybe something. Maybe they'll show up. They'll they'll be like, "I'm Agent Mulder and I'm Agent Scully and we're going to fuck up everything again like we do in X-Files." Well, maybe they'll that I didn't think about that, but maybe they'll show up, but I just don't know uh how they're going to explain all that. They still will have the death of her his mother. Did you find a clue? Yeah, I found clue what kind of a clue was it was it a good clue yeah it was a really good clue you know that's what it'll be like found a clue found some blues clues and so, so let's talk well, I, well let, let's just mention at the very end had the stupidity of that sequence chucky he doesn't fall for the trap uh that's literally straight out of cape fear and, you know, you could literally just do a dissection of the sequence. That was how bad it was. Yeah, they just like, stand there. No, let's talk. First, they're sitting there, the gay couple, because that's all they are now. They're just gay. There's nothing else to them, so let's just call them the gays. Uh, because they have no character anymore. Uh, you know, they're sitting there, and they're like, what's your, fa what's your favorite final girl? And then you've got Jake, you know, Mr. Jigsaw face. And he says, Laurie Strode. And it's like, ugh, this is a Laurie Strode fanboy who, you know, he even says that Jamie Lee Curtis is going to win an Oscar for her oh, performance yeah. in Halloween I, Kills. I forgot about that. You know, you know, you can clearly tell that he wrote that without actually watching the movie because, you know, in the movie, uh, her she's just awful. And she's like, just, ugh. Remember that song? Yeah, Let, let's I just... remember. I forgot about that. I thought, <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, that was really uh, cringeworthy. But yeah. that's that's how they talk. That's how these fanboys talk of those new shit Halloween movies. So it wasn't surprising, but still it was just really cringeworthy. And uh, they set up this trap from Cape Fear, but Chucky gets in through the chimney, which is hilarious because... They literally are so dumb that they didn't consider that Chucky couldn't fit uh, through the ch through the chimney. <laughs> I mean, it's a, that's so stupid. And then they hear a noise, and they both do like a a nineteen nineties uh, com comedic gay jump, where they both shriek and go <gasps> and grab onto each other like they're stereotypical gay people from the nineties or some shit. Like, that was really, like, cringe-worthy. And then Lexi goes upstairs. Uh, All you know, by herself. 
And she's alone, and of course Chucky goes to her because she's alone. Right. Uh, cliche. And you knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I, 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 I just don't get this. Uh, it's good writing, right, Sappy? Ugh. It's really good writing because then Chucky thinks it's a smart move. You know, he's hated that bitch the whole series, and he's wanted to kill her even though he's trash, you know. And, and I told someone else about this, like how he hasn't killed Lexi yet. And they just laugh their asses off because it's like, this is absurd, the fact that Chucky can't kill a teenage girl. Like, how pathetic is that? What kind of weak-ass shit is Chucky on? I mean, he is just like a... I mean, he... he, he but he tries convincing Lexi to kill Jake. Yeah, and, and can he watch? Yeah, and then Lexi d says that she wants to because she's bullshitting him because Jake and Devin are coming. Uh, to get him from behind. Right. <laughs> and then uh, everything screws up and Jake lets Chucky run between his legs and run out of the room. And and, and, and Chucky doesn't even take the opportunity to like, you know, uh, cut open Jake while he's running underneath his legs. Like, that would have been the perfect point for Chucky to do that. And then, uh, you know, to do something evil. And he just... He just runs away, and Jake let him get, get get away, and then Devin pops out and tases him. And then Chucky is down, he's on the floor, and he, he dropped his knife, and Devin literally just stands there playing with his taser. He doesn't bother to go up to him while he's laying down on the ground uh, to grab the knife, to kill him. No, he doesn't bother to do that, he just stands there with his taser. So then Chucky just gets up. Does Chucky kill Devin, who's right there in front of him? No, Chucky just runs away. Yeah. Yeah, that's really bad, Safi. It's, it's, it's goosebumps, Safi. Admit it. Goosebumps. Whatever. But goosebumps was better than this shit. Those kids should have been dead what, Marco, by okay, now. That's enough. They should have been all three of them. D E A D. I guess they need him for the rest of the show. Yeah. Because uh What are they, they gonna kill, kill them in the last episode? No, they're gonna kill off all the adults and they're all gonna be orphans. That's what it <laughs> seems like. It's like we I know, Chucky, I know. Chucky can't kill a kid anymore because we're a bunch of pussies. I mean who's he killed? He's killed Jake's father, who admittedly he was a horrible person, probably deserved it. Well, but it's, all he's these an orphan characters now. deserved it. He's an orphan. They literally built the whole show around, this is a universe with a bunch of piece of shit characters. And, and they, aren't you excited for them to die? And they've killed, it, I guess apparently, I thought she might still be alive. No, she's dead, so uh, Killed Devin's mother, so he doesn't have anybody. Yeah, and he is an orphan, so they're both or orphans. And then they killed off uh, Junior's mother. Now, he still has his father. Well, Junior has himself, which is not oh, much yeah, to have. Oh, yeah, he has himself, which <laughs> is better than anybody <laughs> in anything. He, he looks like a ghost. Like, he's just, like, floating around in his clothes. And he's like, eh, eh, next episode. Yeah. Well, anyway, I... Uh, what would you rate it, Safi? Uh, what would you rate Cape Queer, Safi? I guess I gave it a B. Oh, you didn't give it a cue for queer? <laughs> no, I don't, like that. I don't like that title. I think it's dumb. I think they could have made a much better title. If they wanted to do something off of Cape Fear, <laughs> F-E-A-R. It's, it's Cape Queer. They call it Cape Queer. And you, and when I saw that title, I didn't watch the preview. I forgot. And when, by the time the episode was gonna, uh, you know, well, I was gonna watch it, there wasn't any point. So I never watched the preview. So I guess maybe I would have understood it better. But I, no. to me, I just thought I immediately thought that they're talking about gay people. Yeah. I did not. Well, and duh. To me, I think it's a stupid title. If they're not it's, talking about gay people, why they call it that? It's I, inflammatory. I well, yeah. And I mean, I just, I just can't stand some of these things that they do. But anyway, it, I thought it was uh, there were some goods. 
a lot more good in this one, a lot more going on, a lot more, like you said, those out-of-town characters coming in. Yeah, that's all that was good. Doing interesting Everything else was things. trash. Because I really don't know what the characters in the show, the regular ones, the, the child ones, I don't know what they're going to do. So they're going to have to have these other characters come in because they'll at least add some meat to the show. So, I mean, because really, just think about how is this going to end? How are they going to get rid of him? And it has to do with that boy coming in, grown-up boy, and that his stepsister, and uh, Tiffany, and uh, the girl who... Nika! I don't get, I don't get the Nika thing. Nika Wafer! Because it, she, she's got this part of Chucky, but then... If she touches blood of somebody, blood it, squirtles on her. It, it, she it leaves her and she transforms. She back goes back Nika. to her original, yeah, self. And Jennifer just wants her to be Nika so that she can, it, because Jennifer, I mean, uh, Tiffany, is a weirdo. Her character is just so out of place. Like, honestly, r remember, Tiffany and Seed of Chucky doesn't want to have anything to do with Chucky anymore. Uh, but suddenly they just retcon that. You know, you honestly could have just made, like, a movie with just Tiffany and Nika! Because that's what could have been uh, more fitting and, and a lot better. And not, like, trying to fit her into this already cluttered show. Okay, well, Marco, what did you give it? I, get, I give it... It's, I told you, I said... I give all the stuff outside of town, like, uh, a B plus, mm -hmm. and then I give all the stuff in town, like, an F. So, oh, so basically, that like averages a, out to a, a D. A D minus, probably, I would or give a D it. plus. Or maybe a Q for queer. Yeah. Because yeah. this episode was really queer, so, except for the good stuff. I don't know. Let us know in the comments about what you think is going to happen. How how is Chucky going to be destroyed? Because he did mention that. He said, yeah, he, he said I've been put on fire. I've had this. I've had that. And I'm not dead. I can't remember who he was talking <laughs> no, he, to. I mean, he, he was talking to Lexi. He was talking to Lexi. And he said, death is just the beginning. I've been killed lots of times. Yeah, I thought, I thought <laughs> that was funny. That was actually. funny. And... Uh, <laughs> I just remembered that because because uh, I'm just thinking I have no idea how the show is going to end, and they they don't have just one episode left. Maybe they have four. They they have. Uh, yeah. I just don't know. I I just can't even imagine. Sophie, do you know what's going to happen? No. Uh, Jake is going to get Devin pregnant. No. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll call it uh you know let's let's just add queer to any movie title and just have that be the rest of the episodes because that's really smart that's writing stupid anyway yeah uh, so please uh if you like this video press the like button and if you uh and also if you would like to we'd love to have you as a subscriber and also to end it it's not it's not a subscriber it's a queer scriber <laughs> and then uh, what, uh, leave a comment about what you think is how this is going to flesh out I just have no idea and it seems like all the kids are just going to be orphans what are they going to do all go to an orphanage together I, I mean I, where the science teacher is in charge or something <laughs> Because now that the detective who just <laughs> goes ahead and arrests her for no good reason uh, is dead. And who who's going to be the detective now? There's nobody left. They only had two people. They had the guy, a Hallmark guy, who's Canadian, and he's played hockey, I'm sure. We'll have Dirty Harry come he in. He got all stabbed up with... Uh, Wouldn't that be cool if Dirty needles. Harry came in and Dirty Harry, it turned into a Dirty Harry show? Uh -huh. And Dirty Harry's like... I don't uh, think so. What does Dirty Harry say? He says, uh, uh, make my day. Right. And then uh, she's dead, so who's left? They don't even have a regular police person, I don't <laughs> think. You know, one that wears a uniform, an officer that comes out to your house and looks for bad guys. 
So I don't know. I, I, I just don't know how this is going to work out. Is it going to be a queer workout, Safi? Marco, please stop doing it. They this. started it. I didn't start it. I didn't okay. call episode Cape Queer. Okay. I they just, did. Would you please, can you, is there any way you can go back and change your titles? Don't make stupid titles like that. Because it's stupid. And it isn't entertaining. It's, it's very queer, stuff. It's yeah, very it's queer. Yeah, it's very queer. Very queer. Okay, so everybody... Goodbye, everybody! <laughs>